Hey everybody, how is your 2012 business plan coming along? Have you started it? I like asking this question right about now to make sure it is in your plans to put a plan together for the upcoming year. My name is Trevor Hammond. I am the founder of My Financial Independence Coach. We offer online automated financial education for families all across the country. And we do this by allowing mortgage and real estate professionals and companies to sponsor our program, brand it, and give it away as a huge value item and uh, life-changing resource to everyone they work with and help. Today I'm going to share with you, as business professionals, a very simple way to start planning out 2012. All you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pen, and a quiet place to think. It is that simple. So, December, my favorite time of year. And yes, it's because of Christmas mostly, and I'm a huge nut for Christmas, and I'm known to go very overboard. But December is also the time that I get to give myself permission to step back from the day-to-day -day noise of your business and the reactive mode that a lot of us find ourselves in, and really step back and just focus on my business. I get to shut things down a little bit and get some peace and quiet and really reflect on 2011. What worked? What didn't work? What do I need to do differently? and start mapping out a game plan for 2012. A lot of your business partners, your clients, your friends are also doing this. So what I'm gonna share with you is also something you can take to them to add value and give them the kickstart they need to plan out 2012 and get the success that they want. So I'm gonna share with you what we call the Keep, Stop, Start tool or exercise. I learned this years ago from my business coach and I'm gonna share with you, it's a very simple tool and again, you'll get to take this out to your other referral partners, your business associates, and really add value to them in December as they start mapping out 2012. Now, a lot of people, unfortunately, do not take this time. So before I share this with you, you've got to know how important it is. Because if you don't take the time to map out what you want to achieve, there's no way to achieve it. How will you know if you succeeded? And a lot of people just don't do it because they overcomplicate the planning process. They think they've got to map out 2012 down to every minute little detail of what they're going to do throughout the day, weeks, and year. That's not the case. You just want to put a framework together on things that you need to do, and then you can start piecing them into your calendar on when you're going to do them and how often you're going to do them. But don't overthink this. If you do and you don't take the time to plan out your business, you're going to get stuck in that same up and down roller coaster of business and income that none of us like, especially in the mortgage and real estate field. Uh, you spend all that time getting the business in the door and then you spend the next 30, 45, 60 days keeping everybody happy and making sure everything goes smoothly and then you find yourself at the end of that couple months with no, no clients. So we've got to make your income more consistent and your business more consistent and planning this out thoroughly will help you. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna pull out a piece of paper. And at the top of the piece of paper, you're gonna write keep stop, start. And you're going to draw a couple lines down to make three columns on that piece of paper. First column, keep. And I wrote down a couple ideas I'll share with you just to get your mind going. What do I need to keep doing in 2012 that worked well for me in 2011? That's what it's all about. Uh, for example, meet with one great referral partner every week for lunch. If this is something you started doing in 2011 that worked well, keep doing it. That is huge. But First, you're recognizing what worked well in your business and what you accomplished. And you want to make sure that's on your list to keep doing in 2012 and maybe even doing it more. Uh, following up with all your clients out looking for houses once a week on Mondays. And that's just an example, but a lot of people I talk with, it's not in their calendar. So, But the ones that do do it are going to keep doing it because it really keeps them engaged with all their clients on a regular basis. So they're actively involved and, and helping them throughout that home buying search. Next column over, stop. What the heck do I need to stop doing in 2012 that was sabotaging my success in 2011? A couple key things here. Email. Maybe you need to stop leaving your email open all day long, or even better, at least turn off that little chime that pops up every time an email comes in uh, that breaks your concentration on a project or, or something you're working on for a client. Turn off email and check it couple times a day. You figure out a system for you. I'm just giving you some ideas. But email is the biggest sabotage word, is that a word, of your success. 
Uh, another option, stop opening Facebook during the day. Now, unless you maybe have a fan page for your work or your business, but you know how that sucks you in and all of a sudden you lose a lot of minutes, even hours in the day. So maybe one of your stops is Facebook during the day when you're trying to generate money and clients. Uh, taking loan applications might be something you stop in 2012. If you're a very successful mortgage professional and you realize you've got a team around you that could be doing a lot of the loan application or you have an online loan application, you can leverage your time more efficiently perhaps and focus on the delivery of the plan to the clients and the educational aspect. So what do you need to keep doing? What do you need to stop doing in 2012? And finally, what do you need to start doing? What do you need to do in 2012 that you didn't do or didn't do enough of in 2011? Uh, some of the things I wrote down are calling five clients a day. Uh, I want to stay engaged with my all of my great clients that I have helped over the years, five a day. And maybe you block out 9 to 10 a.m. every day of the week. Maybe that's something you need to start doing that you haven't done, or maybe you didn't do it as consistently as you would have liked. But think about the things that would have the greatest impact on your financial future and your business goals and Put those on your list on what you need to start doing. A couple other things I wrote down. Read 30 minutes a day. Every day. Jeffrey Gittimer says that the most important time of your day is that first 30 minutes. That dictates how successful and productive the rest of your day is. For me personally and for some of the most successful people I know, read 30 minutes every day. Business, marketing, leadership. Something that gets your juices flowing, gives you ideas for videos, uh, gives you ideas to share with other people, gives you ideas and content for your social marketing uh, efforts. Something else, one video per week. Video is the future. Everybody wants to be able to just watch and get to know people through video, which obviously I'm trying to do more of this. But maybe what you need to start doing is one video a week. Uh, exercise during the lunch hour. Uh, and some of these are personal. Sometimes I work too long and I don't get to the gym and I just need to go home and be with the family, so I skip my workout. What I need to start doing is maybe exercising during the lunch hour and uh, taking a shower, cleaning it up, coming back to the office and see how that works. So whatever it may be, what do you need to start doing this upcoming year to break through those glass ceilings of success and achieve bigger goals that you have for yourself? So that's it, guys. Keep, stop, start. Very simple. So I want you to, after you watch this video, go to your calendar and at some point in the next two weeks, plan out one hour. Go someplace where you can just think. Maybe it's a Starbucks over some coffee. Maybe it's out of your office and just in the conference room wherever you are. Maybe it's at home. Think about the previous year. Think about the upcoming year and write those things down on the list. So once you do that, I also want you to get back to me. Give me some feedback. Give me some ideas. What came of this for you? How did it go? Um, I love hearing from you guys. And connect with us on all our social media stuff. Uh, Facebook, we've got a LinkedIn group that you can join. Uh, we've got our blog, MFIC Pro, uh, to WordPress. So mficpro.wordpress.com. Connect with us, follow us, email me personally, because I'm going to also be um, scheduling in the next couple days here. I'm going to schedule out uh, a 90-day business planning workshop. We're going to do it webinar style. And so if you want to get that invite, make sure you're connected with us, and I'll make sure you get it. Last time we did it, it was a huge success. Uh, people kept emailing me for long after that saying how much it helped them and it's a simple way to plan out your business 90 days at a time rather than trying to figure out what the heck is going to happen at the end of 2012 in this industry. Uh, so hopefully you'll join us for that because it's very powerful. Uh, my mentors have shown it to me and now I use it all the time and I've coached a lot of people on it. So connect with us. Uh, we want to hear from you. So make it a great rest of this week and uh, go put this into action. Execution is everything. Remember that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.